experience just watching YouTube videos or just browsing to your newsfeed in Facebook? When suddenly, you remember that you have something important to do. So, instead of relaxing your mind and not thinking of anything else, you ended up having your mind boggled up with so much stuff. And, in the end, you waste more time worrying than actually being productive. If that's you, then you're on the right video! Hi everyone, I'm Chanel Liu, and here's how to relax without giving you. These steps will be divided into three parts. Before, during, and after working. As you can see, the first step to relaxing without feeling guilty is accomplishing the work one needs to do. One of the hindrances to relaxing is the load of work one needs to do. Even though it's important for us to rest, remember that too much rest and not enough work is just laziness and irresponsibility. So, before you can sit back, relax, and watch your favorite series on Netflix, here are the things you should do before working. Know your body schedule. Since we each have our own personalities and activities, we also have our own productive time. Productive time is a time when you get more things done. Some people are morning persons. They are more productive in the morning, while others are more active at night. Take note of all the deadlines. Once a professor announces a particular assignment, project, or quiz, quickly take note of the deadline or the date of the exam. You can list them down on a pocket-sized notebook or on your phone, whichever is more convenient. However, it is recommended to use a notebook instead because it will keep you from distractions like texts, notifications, games, and the likes. Set your priorities. Now that you've made a list of the things you need to submit or study, it's time to know which of them you should do first. Tackle first the tasks that have an earlier deadline. An earlier deadline means less time to do a certain task. So, do the task with the earlier deadline, otherwise you will be cramming and not doing your best. However, if you have an assignment with the same deadlines, prioritize the easier task. Start early and try not to procrastinate. Even though an assignment is not due until next week, there's nothing wrong in wanting to begin early. It's actually a good thing to start something as soon as possible because you can predict what will happen the following day. It's good to have already done an assignment then be overwhelmed by a coming new task. Find your studying spot. The perfect study spot should be a perfectly lit room. A comfortable place to sit but definitely not your bed as it's easy to doze off. And a quiet place to concentrate and think. Have water and healthy snacks at your side. So you can be productive and not get hungry at the same time. If at all possible, turn your Wi-Fi off. One of the major things that keep young people into being productive is distraction. It's easy to find a solitude place to study, but if your phone's with you, chances are you're still distracted by the messages of your friends. If you're doing a task that requires no internet connection like studying, then it's better to turn your Wi-Fi off. Or, if your family members are the ones using the internet, then it's best to put your gadgets away and concentrate on your work. Divide your time. So you could allot 3 hours for one task and the next 3 for another. You should manage your time well so that you can be productive in one day even if you haven't completely finished your work. Then the next day, you could just continue where you left off. And now that you've got to this part of the video, you're probably impatient with all the things that I've been saying about work, 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 work. Whether it's just 5 minutes or 15 minutes, you have to let your mind relax and let yourself breathe. It's recommended to rest after accomplishing each task because non-stop studying would just give yourself a headache. Taking a quick break helps the brain to ease up a bit and helps it get ready to input more information. Give yourself a reward. After doing a certain task, you can eat your favorite snack or let yourself watch one episode of your favorite series. Doing this to yourself will give you the motivation to do your work quickly and efficiently. Take 
a power nap. This is similar to taking a quick break. The brain is not the only one working with you as you do each task. The eyes also are part of the operation. Because reading and typing could exhaust the eyes, taking a quick power nap does the trick. A 10 to 20 minute nap helps you get back to work. Be strict about your nap length, otherwise you would end up sleeping through your assignment. Relax and don't feel guilty. After you've completed everything, doesn't it feel nice to be productive? Whew. Finally, it's time for you to relax without feeling guilty. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Again, this is Chanel Yu.